And hello world. Welcome back to the Nisai Show. This is the third issue of the Nisai Show. I'm May and I will be your host today. So I'm May, I'm from Vietnam and I'm learning history, English, science and math in Nisai. The Nisai Show is designed for students of Nisai where they can raise their voices, share their meaningful stories, listen to each other and just be themselves. Today, the Nisha Show welcomes our esteemed guest, Nisair Hato. Nice to meet you. And Aisha. Can you introduce a little bit about yourself? Um, yeah, hello everyone. My name is Hatumata and I'm taking the IGCFC class here at Nisai. Hello everyone, my name is Aisha Poita uh, and my nationality is Indonesia and I'm currently studying as an NS2 student in Nisai. Thank you Hato and Aisha. Now that we know something about you guys, what brings you here today with us? Well, um, I'm gonna share a little bit of my story, how I studied in France and um, I lose motivation to study there and how Nisa helped me to like studying again. Um, for me, since I moved to an Islamic school, the English wasn't very good, but with the help of Nisa, uh, I got my English under control. That's amazing. I am all, all on yours. So, Hato, can you share us your story and when did you move to France? Um, I moved to France, I don't exactly remember the year, but I was 14 years old. And it was kind of like, it was my dad who offered me to move there ever since I keep on talking about the country. Um, since ever since I visited it for my vacation and coincidentally I have a family who lived there too so yeah amazing so about Aisha when did you move to Islamic school um, I moved to an Islamic school not long ago I think I moved last year when I was still in fifth grade mm. okay so what was the learning environment in France? Mm, actually, the learning environment was great. Like I get to meet good people, like good friends. But um, it's just the language barrier that I'm having trouble with. Yes, of course, because I, I heard the French people, they're, they're not good at English. and Yeah, they are definitely not that good in English. <laughs> Yeah, and, and they got a little bit of an accent, so it's kind of hard to um, yeah. understand. And it's really, it's not that easy to find English speaking people, to be honest. Unless if you're like working, I guess, but like students, it's pretty rare. There are people who can speak English, but it's not a lot. Mm, that's that's kind of harsh on you. So. Yeah. Was the curriculum suitable suitable for you? Mm, to be honest, not really, because um, honestly, in in a way, it's actually similar to how, to how the curriculum that I learned back in Indonesia. But the issue is again the language barrier. Like I'm having a hard time to understand the lesson in French. So yeah. Mm. So um. How's the learning environment in Islamic school? Uh, to be honest, the learning environment was all right. Uh, there wasn't there wasn't anything wrong about it. Just uh, the fact that the 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 friends are very very different, so I had to fit in to their language and to their activities and their attitude. So yeah, but the learning environment was all right. 
Yeah, so you guys have something in um, common here that there are a little bit of a uh, language barrier, I guess. So, um, what were the nice experiences that when you're learning in the school? Well, for me personally, I get to meet great people. Um, I got to experience the French culture too, and um, in a way, like since I meet new people, I get to learn a newer side of me. So yeah. Mm. What about you, Aisha? For me, it's uh, the fact that I get to learn a brand new language that's Arabic and I get to experience the brand new side of people with very, very different personalities and so I'm not stuck on one language so that now I speak with my friends with Arabic, English, Bahasa Indonesia and more. So yeah. That's very good and very cool. And, um... It definitely helps you on your um, way to possibly learn. So, what about Nisai? Because you you have moved to Nisai, is there any good memories or challenges studying at Nisai? Mm, for me, um, I do um, gain more confidence and. Um, expressing my opinions, especially in class, because I used to be the student who's very shy to actually participate, even though I do have the answer that the teacher asked, you know. So yeah, I think that's one of the greatest improvement. And also with the Nisai, um, Nisai kind of helped me improve my English too. For me, the, improve, the greatest improvement that I get is improving my English and also my grammar and my knowledge, of, of course, and also improves my confidence on socializing with new people because in Nisai, there are different, uh, my friends can come from different countries, so it gives, it gives me more confidence on socializing with people from different places. So yeah, that, that's one of the biggest, uh, greatest improvement. But for challenges, uh, it's probably some of the assignments. There are some challenges in the assignments on me because uh, it's kind of hard to understand some of them, but overall, good experience. That's really good because I think um, the diversity of um, students from many countries that are in one class and you can talk to them, you can, you know, um, have a di division of the class. And I think the way that Nisai teach students is really unique. And it makes students not feel, you know, insecure about themselves and participate in every activity that the class have. Yeah, very so, yeah, yeah, like so, for example, there is this one time where a classmate doesn't understand and like the teacher actually take her to the to a breakout room. But before taking her to the breakout room, the teacher asked us, um, the other students, if anyone is having difficulty. So yeah, so that's like a way how the teacher actually helps us, the students. Yes, that's that's wonderful to hear. I think that Nisai teachers is like it's kind of like a uh, you know personal therapist because they always ask how are you feeling yeah and how did you feel about this is it hard or did I need to explain it again it just felt really friendly and they're like your friend yeah so. like the teacher did did like um, a weekly checkup if I'm not mistaken in the email asking how are we doing and everything so yeah Pato so um. The time you're learning French has kind of, um, so how have Nisai motivated you and inspired you to study again? Mm, well, Nisai reminded me that learning is fun. Learning is not stressful. Like it can be not stress stressful because like for, for the last four years, I've been in an environment well, in the school environment where I felt a lot of pressure, well, mostly because I put it on myself, like, oh, I'm not good enough, because 
everything I did seems like, oh, like the assignments that I did, oh, like I got a bad score and everything. Well, in Nisai, like every week, once we finish a topic, the teacher gives us assignments, right? It's not yeah. like we're for a couple of topics and then the teacher give us like a huge test that we're supposed to do, like literally. Like, so that's why like, that's what good about Nisai. It's fun and like in class, like we could interact with people and even the teachers interact a lot with us. Sometimes the teacher even joke with us. So like, it's really fun and it's really, it, it feels great and light to learn, you know? So yeah, and in such um, a short period of time, which is 40 minutes, we could learn like a lot of things. So yeah. Yeah, because I think that um, you like can reduce the time of learning to 30 minutes. So you're like 100% focus on it. And I think um, that's the wonderful response because I think Nisai staff will be so happy that you have the response like that. So, Aisha, how have Nisai support you with your English? Uh, well, when I entered the, my Islamic school, I was pretty surprised with the drop of the English standard. So I was basically learning what I learned in my past primary grades. So I, I told my mom, like, I cannot, I, I have learned this. What am I learning at school? I'm not learning anything. So then my mom offered me this online school. She offered me Nisa and like, she was like, do you want to join here? So I said, yes. So when I was joining NS1, I was very, very surprised because the English was, at first it was difficult, but when I followed the time uh, and the studies and the materials, I found it easy. And because the teacher wasn't as tensing as it is at school. So Nisai actually helped with my English and I aced most, I aced my English exams. So yeah, with the help of Nisai, my English actually got better. Oh, that's, that's great and amazing to hear from you. You know, when you have a time, did you join any extracurricular activities or any social activities to be said? Uh, when I was still in NS1, I joined public speaking, but now uh, I'm joining Youth Success because I wanted to try something new. So, yeah. And did it, you know, support you with your personal development? Oh, well, yes, public speaking uh, helped me improve my skills on how to make a PowerPoint. It, it definitely helped me improve a lot. And also the confidence on speaking in front of people. And for you success, uh, I learned new knowledge that I've never learned or heard before. So, yeah. I think uh, you really do match public speaking because by, by the way you speak, I think you're really good at it. So, Thank you. <laughs> so, how can Nisai continue to befriend and support you in your future plan? My future plan, well, um, I feel like the IGCS certificate could actually help me a lot. And, um, and with Nisai, I'm sure that I could obtain some scholarships. So, yeah. So, like, Nisai could actually help me study abroad in some countries, especially English-speaking countries. Yes, of course, because for me, I also learned Nisai to support me on um, studying abroad, like, yeah, English-speaking countries. So, how about you? I'm like my sister. I, re I really attend Nisai because it helps me with my English and also the links that they have on helping me studying abroad. So, yeah. So, do you think Nisai will be suitable in motivational education environment to your sister too? Yep. I mean, not only my sister. It'll be to everyone. Like, anyone who attends Nisai, they'll definitely experience that. Yes. Definitely. But of course, as long as they're willing to learn, that's the most important thing. And they won't hesitate to ask for help from the teachers. Yes, that's wonderful to hear. I'm, I'm really in, in a good mood right now. All right, so 
Thank you, Hato and Aisha, for sharing your story with us. Hopefully, you will be able to focus on your future path now that you have target set and ready to go. Thank you again for coming to the show. You're welcome. You're welcome. Bye. 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 Thank you, guys. See you. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. I'm May, and this is the end of today's episode with the Nisai Show. We will be back soon with a brand new story to share. Bye. Bye, everyone.